I'll be honest, I haven't got a clue where I'm going. I'm at the, completely at the mercy of sat nav, and it's for the big posh client. In those immortal words, let's crack on. This is a bloody nightmare to find. Your destination is on the right. Right, I'm here, I'm at the place, and I can't find an appropriate car parking space, so I think I'm going to leave it outside. It's quite a tricky one because, ah, this might be the estate agent now. I have just done something so stupid. I've just cost myself a day's work or half a day's work. And it's laughable because it's something that you, you, you'll hear me say and you'll be like, come on, mate, you, you call yourself, you know, you do this for a living, what you do. Basically, I've just gone to this other job and instinctively, whenever I shoot a job, the first thing I do, which is a good habit, is format the memory card which is really a good idea, but it's not a good idea if the photos that you took from yesterday's job are still on there and you haven't got them on the computer yet. So I've just lost everything that I did yesterday, but fortunately I can get the keys. So I've just had to ring them and explain the situation and they were really cool about it. Luckily there's no one in the house, so it's, it, 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 you know, it's not the end of the world, but it's just, Come on, Maguire, what are you doing? Anyway, I hope you appreciate my honesty and stupidity in this moment. And if you've been there, it, you, you'll know how I'm feeling right now. And it's not a good feeling. Let me just tell you that. So anyway, and I was planning on doing a really nice, sexy time lapse because the, the beautiful colours are so nice. And that house I just did, awesome. They've got, a, a, they've got four acres of land and all the autumn is in full bloom, but I couldn't enjoy it because I just formatted my card and that's all I'm thinking about. So anyway, I've just cost myself a day's work and now I've got to ring Laura and tell her we can't go out for lunch. So, welcome to my life. I'm back again. The plan is get out, get the shot. There's a blue sky behind, sort of, which is good. There's nobody parked in front again, which is also good. So the, the plan is get in there, get everything done, get back in the car, get the keys back and let's shoot off. No messing about, no going on social media because sometimes I do check Facebook occasionally. And yeah, just no, no dilly dallying and no vlogging. So go. Well, that was a waste of an hour, but I'm done. So now I can go home. All I've got to do is not format the memory card again. So I'm going to take the, the keys back to the agent, then we can go home. Now I'm going to get these on the computer today. <laughs> Forgot to do the conservatory. Brilliant. Today is just going brilliantly. <laughs> right, ladies and gentlemen, I've got a treat for you. It's Laura Kid on loudspeaker on the vlog, everybody. Hi. So I'm home, I've made it back. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put these photographs on the computer straight away. No messing, no coffee, no breakfast yet, even though our kid is making me some food right now. But the first thing I'm going to do is stick these photographs in Lightroom and back them up so they ain't going nowhere. That is what I am going to do. There they are, they're coming in. There is no losing them this time. No losing them. I've learned my lesson, safe to say that. I did something stupid and I've paid the price for it. I have essentially 
lost a couple of hours of my day that I didn't need to. And not only that, I've had to do a job again that I'd already done. Annoying. It's a bit like when you're on the motorway, don't stop unless you have to. Because if you just take a stop, then you're gonna have to stop and then you're gonna get back on the motorway and you're gonna have to re-overtake all those cars that you'd already overtaken. It's Laura Kid on the vlog, everybody! What we have, what have we got today, chef? Muesli and a latte. Muesli and a latte. But there's not much milk, well actually there's enough for two of us. Right, so am I having dry muesli? <laughs> Brilliant. As a side note to this vlog, what I want to say is about this camera that I'm vlogging on, the A6000. The batteries for Sony are rubbish! If you want to make some money in life, I suggest that you become a sales rep in the battery department for Sony, because you could make a killing. I've got three batteries, but what I think happens is, when I turn the phone off, when I turn the camera off, what I do is, let's say for example I've done a video, I turn, it, I, I turn the record function off, and then I just let the auto turn off happen, so the camera is actually still turned on. But that is that's using juice. Even though it's turned off, it's using it's using the juice. So I think that's why I've never got any battery left. So I've got to make more of an effort to keep turning the camera off every time I'm not using it. But yeah, Sony sorted out. So just before I knuckle down and start getting down to work, our kid has brought in. Can we get in? I don't know if this is a northern thing because your mum is a northerner. I don't know. She got bread, one. bread in. Uh, what is it? Is it boiling water with OXO? So you put bread in the cup, yeah. broken up, and then you put a bar a barbecue beef OXO cube, and then you put oh, boiling water on top. It's tremendous. It's really good. Mum used to make it when I was poorly when I was little. And, and now you're not poorly, and you're not, not little. I'm not poorly, and I'm not little, but you still like it. It tastes really good. Oh my god, it's beautiful. And what's it called? OXO bread. Our kids OXO bread. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good winter warmer, isn't it? Yeah. It's not it's winter. Like, oh. I just love it. <laughs> really good. Yeah. Oh, kid, everyone. Oh, kid. It's fair to say that I was a bit of an idiot this afternoon, or this morning, when it came to my job. I think if I was at a landscape shoot, then yes, it still would have been the same amount of annoyance, but because this is my job, and people rely on me to do these jobs, it's not, it's not cool. So, it does happen to everyone, and I know there'll be people that are watching this that have probably had horror stories, maybe even worse than SD card failures, maybe you've had external hard drive failures. It happens, so I think that the, the key is here, just back up, back up your stuff, and certainly don't consciously delete it until you know it's backed up. I can't believe, you can imagine my horror, my terror, when I started, uh, instinctually, instinctively, I, I'd go across to the menu on the, on the Canon, press format, and then I see a little, you know, a little pro, a progress bar, and underneath I've got a cancel button. I press cancel like, no, 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 because it normally takes about three or four seconds. Press cancel, but it's still formatted the card. I know, I know there are ways and means to get formatted shots back, but that costs money. And again, as a learning curve for myself, it was just important Then I went back to basics, went back to the job I did yesterday, put myself through those paces and did the job again. Because now I know how important it is, how not only annoying it is, but how important, how important it is so look at what you're doing as well. Sometimes I'm guilty of being on autopilot so much because the camera's in my hand almost every day of my life. I know that is the first thing I do. I need to format that card because I need a brand new, spanking new memory card, empty card to work with. Otherwise, I could risk corrupting it, all sorts of things. So that card needs to be formatted. And it's just cringeworthy when I think back to it. I can see myself... You know, queuing up the memory, uh, queuing up the uh, queuing up the menu, hitting hitting format, and I just think, why on earth did I do that? But anyway, it's done, and I think I've learned my lesson. Now, looking at the photos, I think there was a little bit of a silver lining with this cloud because when I went back to the house and I reshot some of the externals, 
the weather was better than it was yesterday. Yesterday was very grey and very miserable and I would have most likely had to put a blue sky in it. However, when I went today, there was a bit of a blue sky. So every cloud literally has a silver lining. So that being said, it's a bit annoying what's happened to me today. Don't let this happen to you. Let what happened to me influence your decisions. And yet lately I've always been talking about making the right decisions, but you're eventually something's going to go wrong, isn't it? So it's it's the degree of wrongness that can really... Like, imagine if that happened at a wedding. Oh, that would be unthinkable. I, I read recently that someone somehow lost an SD card. They didn't format the card. They lost an SD card. It fell out of the wallet, something like that. Something as elementary as dropping it and they dropped it on a beach after a, after a photo shoot. So that's bridal prep, that was ceremony, and that was a portrait or something like that, that they lost. And you can't recreate that stuff. So I'm luckily I was in a position where I could because I knew that I could go and get the keys to get into that house and photograph it again. So the only person that really was inconvenienced was myself. But still, back up your stuff. Let me talk about something positive. It's autumn at the moment. It's the 1st of November today. Autumn is going to pass us by very quickly like it always seems to do. And when them leaves are down, they ain't coming back up until next spring. And you won't get that colour until next October. I'm going to get up in the morning. I've already said to our kid that I, potentially we, are going to go for a autumnal shoot. There's a little place that I know down in Herefordshire on the river, a place called Simmons Yacht, very, very popular with photographers. And I'm expecting to see some photographers down there because the conditions look like they're going to be great. It's forecast mist and fog. That's what we want because there's a big U-bend in the river and you stand right above it and photograph it. And if that is how I think it's going to play out, then we're going to get that low-lying fog on the river as the river moves through. So... That would be amazing if it happens. But yeah, that's what's going to happen. And sunrises have gone back an hour because the clocks went back last week. So we're back now to seven o'clock and six something sunrises rather than nearly eight o'clock, which is good and bad. It's bad because I'm going to have to get up at five to make the effort to get there. But it's good that hopefully there'll be not a lot of people around, not a lot of traffic, etc. Make sure you come back tomorrow. Check out that video. It's going to be good if it, if it plays out how I think it will. And I'll see you... I'll see, you, I'll see you then. See you tomorrow. So, like, comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'd love you to do that. Come and join Team Andy Mag and tell your friends, folks. And don't forget to back up your cards. <laughs> Slash. And don't forget... No, that's wrong. And every time you take a photo, every time you get the camera out of the bag, don't format your memory card before you have put your photos. Oh, I don't even know what I'm saying. It's going to kick off. We've got ready pink in the sky. This is so cool. I'm glad I got it now. Yeah, I'm really glad you came as well. It's so worth it. This is amazing. How can I express...